It's Shakira from GlowBeautyWellness.com and today we are collaborating with Amiana Cosmetics and I'm going to show you how to use their adaptive pressed powder foundation. But because I love a super caked up and super full coverage look, I'm going to begin this look with my foundation. And just a quick tip for applying cream products to the face, you want to make sure you do so in an upward motion. You want to prevent um, premature wrinkles, premature sagging for as long as possible, right? So make sure you're blending in really well and going in upward strokes on your face. You also want to make sure you kind of press um, you know your liquid foundation in and make sure you're blending along the jawline and your neckline and the hairline as well. Next we're going to pick up the Redness Concealer Cream. You really just need to press your ring finger into the cream because it's very thick. I'm putting it underneath my eyes to add some brightness, but you could do it on the bridge of your nose or the T area, T zone area of your face to add brightness and increase the youthful appearance. And I'm just dabbing with my sponge. You can also use a synthetic brush to help blend this, but I just find that I get a lot more control with that brush. And you can see I've already got a little bit of highlight going on my cheekbone and I have not added any other product. Next, we're adding the Adaptive Pressed Powder Foundation in Malt. And what you want to do here is press into the skin. I recommend getting yourself a Kabuki brush so that you can press and then once you press, you buff as you see me doing here. So you also want to make sure you blend well into your hairline. You do not want to look like you are wearing a mask. This should be seamless all across your face. And next, I just brush off my eyebrows so that I can prepare for the rest of my face. But before then, we have to do something about my massive forehead. So I'm picking up their matte bronzer and I'm dusting it along my forehead. And this just creates a little bit of a shadow and illusion that it's not as big as it seems. This is obviously optional and you can also do this around your jawline right there to make your jaw look a little more chiseled, but I'm not gonna do that today. But what I am going to do and what I've started doing was contouring my nose a little bit. Um, you wanna start from your eyebrow, your brow bone, all the way down to the tip of your nose so that it's a seamless blend and so that it appears natural. So after you blend everything out, you apply the rest of your face as normal, and this is the completed look.